What's up, guys? It's Josh Valenstorm, and welcome back to Fable the Lost Chapters. Now, if you remember in the last episode, we had just helped the fisherman get his place back again from the uh, wasps. We we're about to go and attack Orchard Farm. Here's our current quest. Attack Orchard Farm. So, we can just go out through here into the Great Wood again. Put my sword, because I absolutely hate wasps. <laughs> hate them with a passion. So let's go kill them. That makes me feel better about everything. Just remember, when in doubt, kill it with lightning! As I forgot how to block there for a second. Whoopsie! <laughs> Right, there's another one down there. <clears throat> and look back here. Several potions, and what's in here? I think it's a resurrection file, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, oh, a Willmaster's elixir. That's even better. Now, what these do, these are really, really, these are some of my favorites. These potions and the elixir of life. Basically, it adds, it adds more to my will. Let's use... You can see how my will just shot up a little bit there. That's a very good thing to have. And they're also... I pref I kind of prefer the Elixirs of Life. There you are. You ready for a bit of violence? I'm always ready for a bit of violence. The farm's just behind this gate. Mobs here is gonna blow it in a moment. Good old mobs. We're after some crates the farmer's got stored in his barn. Don't know what's in them, and I don't much care. We're just paid to do a job, so don't go asking questions. Just lead us to those crates, and we'll grab them. All right, mobs, let's do it. All right, mobs, let's do this. Come on, let's go. <sighs> All right, I had to do the quest naked. I can't restore any health and assure that no bandits are going to be killed. So, you see, I'm in my Union Jack boxers. How lovely. Uh, my biggest worry is some bandits are going to actually die. That's my biggest worry, personally. And I maybe shouldn't have said I would do this without replenishing health, because I don't have a lot of health. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, too late now. <clears throat> All right, Mobsy, go pick one of these up. I need some help. Go, Mobs. I will help you guide that one up. I think you're okay now. Yep, you're okay now. <laughs> so I'm going to go right back here, because I think we're about to have some more people just come spawning right in. <clears throat> Don't much remember where they're coming from, though, so this will be interesting. <laughs> I think I need to actually go back up here. It's actually what I think I need to do. Nope. Okay, there's another bandit. All right, bandit buddy, go ahead and I'll take those. <laughs> and I will go fight some of... I will go fight these gods. <laughs> Because there are several of them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to regret, I think. Said so I might... I, I would not be shocked if I do actually end up regretting this. <laughs> okay. I'm doing at least mildly average, so that's okay. Alright, mobs, let's go get the next one. <clears throat> Could you go any slower, mobs? <laughs> Cover me while I get the crate. <laughs> Alright, mobs, let's go up there. Come on, mobby. Go 
Okay, mobs. Again, I say, can you go any physically? Can you go physically any slower? So, you've learned some new moves, have you? More than you, Whisper. Well, you're not the only one. Uh-huh. I hope you've learned how to flourish, because that's the only way you're going to get close to me. Go on. Try to hit me with a flourish. Flourish! And I miss, so uh, that's unfortunate. So you can do it. Now we actually get to fight Whisper, and now I should be okay. At least I think I'll be okay. I've beaten Whisper countless times anyway, so I'm not necessarily that worried about it. You know, the good old uh, rival that you always have in every single game. Ooh, that one hurt a little bit. And, and now it's just the, I'm going to block because I can't heal. I really would rather not die. I like having all my resurrection files. There we go. Because I'm better than you, Whisper. I suppose this quest is yours, then. Yes, it is. But you can't stay lucky forever, farm boy. We're bound to meet again, and I'll be ready. Uh-huh. Please, let us go. You've got the boxes. There's nothing else. Just leave us be. And I succeeded on this quest. <clears throat> and I made quite a bit of money. That being said, that was the evil side of the quest. Because I eat a little bit, because this is not going to be... Because I'm not, I'm not high on health right now. So let me... So let me go back to my good... Let me save first. And I'll go to my good side playthrough that I have going on right now. Again, it's... Same game. This is just my evil save is going to be save two. And again, I'm going to show you all the a lot of the items of both the good quests and the evil quests. At least I think I will. I might not do that. I might just keep going with one style, just because I really don't want to play, necessarily play the game double on the same under the same save box. That'd just be a little odd. Let's go back to Fisher Creek where I have my first save file where I'm protecting Orchard Farm. So okay, let's go. Let's go to Greatwood now. As you can see, my quests, and I did the wrong button. Let's see if I go to Hero Guides. I now have Protect Orchard Farm, which I said that no bandits will die. I'll make sure no boxes are stolen, and I will do the quest naked, just because it gives you money. So I will cut away until I end up uh, getting to the protecting of Orch Orchard Farm. Okay, guys, and I'm back. Now, we're not in Orchard Farm. We're in what's called Greatwood Lake. Now, I'll show you why I end up coming back here if I can kill this wasp first. Because right up here is another silver key. And as we know, silver keys are nice to have. I don't know how many I have. How many do I actually have of those now? Let's see. I have two silver keys, okay. So I still have a lot to pick up. There are 25 to 30 in the game. I think, I want to say there's 25 in the game. So they are all over the place. Oh, hey, a bandit. Let's go kill a bandit. Just like that. Now you see, this quest, this, this chest here is a silver key chest. It's going to take five silver keys. I don't have five silver keys yet. I need five keys to unlock it. With my two, I obviously can't unlock it yet. <laughs> we have a couple, uh, I think we have another couple wasp and a bandit here as well but i could be wrong on the bandit part yep i was wrong on the bandit part Kunk. all right pick up a health potion there's anything else to go pick up one here Sorcerer farm is really just over that bridge right there yeah i'll go kill these uh beetles just because why not <laughs> it's easy experience i mean experience is never a bad thing in any rpg <laughs> There we go. Obviously, it's obviously not much, but you know, it's passable. But okay. Up here is where I need to go for the Orchard Farm quest. As I roll, because I like rolling. <laughs> Back when I first got the game, what I always did is no matter what, I would always roll through every single entranceway. Just because I thought it was kind of silly.
Now this is the opposite side. This is protecting Orchard Farm. Oh, thank Avo, you're here. I thought no one would answer our guild request. I've arranged some more security to back you up, but there are so many bandits that they'll tear my farm apart. I wish we'd never found those damn stones. They brought us nothing but trouble. My wife Jenna won't let them anywhere near the house, so we've left them in some crates in the barn. They must be worth a fortune. They say Lady Grey wants them. I've already lost three farmhands in these raids. Ah, uh, good old Lady Grey again. Oh, hey, there's mobs! I mean, there's the terrible bandit who I'm going to kill. I will ensure that no guards will die, make sure no boxes or artifacts are stolen, and I shall do the quest naked. Because yay nudity, apparently. <laughs> In my uh, badass Union Jack underwear. Jake! Oh, that was not exactly a good start. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Nope, nope, no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. I told you no you don't. Ooh, nice decapitation. That makes me happy. And I am going to eat food because I am hurting right now. Quite a little bit, actually. Watch out! Bandit reinforcements. And here come more bandits! Come at me, bros! Come at me, bros! Ah, he knocked him out of my way, so I would have killed him with my fullers there. That's always lovely. They got nothing on me. Try to get your combat multiplier even higher. I'm gonna eat another apple. Just because yay health. More bandits! And here come more bandits. Die, you fools! I'm just gonna use some lightning on him, just because I have plenty of will. I have more will than health right now, which is not what I usually do. I usually have a little more health, but I mean, it's... I got I got the Will Master's Elixir quicker than I got anything else, so I mean... It all kind of goes hand in hand in the end, I suppose. And I think that, I think it's... Yep, it's just Fighting Whisper now. You've learned some new moves, have you? Yes, I have, Whisper, and I'm still better than you. No, you haven't. I hope you've learned how to flourish. Yes, I have. That's the only way you're going to get close to me. Whatever you say, Whisper. I beat you five minutes ago. I will beat you again. Kunk. And hey, go. Yes, I can. I proved that to you five minutes ago. Well, you have a very short memory. You know, back when I was attacking Orchid's Farm, you were protecting it. And now, you know, it's the opposite way. But you know. Whatever you say, Whisper. You can take that. Take this too. Thunk. <laughs> you beat me again. As I will at every time, Whisper. Quest is yours, then. Yes, it is. It is my quest. Ha <laughs> ha. Farm boy, we're bound to meet again, and I'll be ready. Whatever you say, Whisper. Whatever you say. You did it. I can't tell you how grateful we are. Pay me, so then you can tell me. Pick up the boxes soon, so we and I think the, his wife is flirting with me. That's a little creepy. Stones. Be glad to see the back of them myself. Must be worth plenty of money to someone, though. I'll make sure to tell everyone about you. We need heroes like you around. That was a weird applause, but I'm not. I'm not going to complain because you know it's nice of him. And yay, nothing was stolen, and no guards were killed. So I got myself a lot of money, which is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So. I'm actually going to go put my clothes back on. Because, you know, clothing's actually a pretty decent thing to have. Usually, I, I would at least think as much. <laughs> okay. And my bright leather gauntlets, along with the random leather gauntlets that I found. But oh well. Check the guild for more quests. That being said, there's something here I am going to show you guys. Yes, it involves me fishing again, but you'll see what for. If I can do this correctly, hopefully I don't, you know, snap my line, because that'd be slightly embarrassing.
Keep going, keep going, almost there. Ha ha! Ha ha! I got an elixir of life. Now, remember when I told you guys about the Willmaster elixir? Let me show you what the elixir of life does. See how my health just went up. Which is, which is obviously a very, very great thing to have because, you know, you want to have as much health as you possibly can, which seems kind of self-explanatory. There's a chicken to kick, first off. But, I mean, it is what it is, and it's... Oh, I actually totally forgot there was a chest there. I completely forgot about that. I'm glad I kind of caught that according to my eye. Ooh, a treasure clue. Ooh, I forgot about the treasure clues. Ah, you have found your first treasure clue. Yes, I have, Will Master. So I'm going to go fish here. For what's actually going to be there. At least what I think is still going to be here. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be there. Usually if there's ripples, it's something nice. Where, I mean, you can just catch fish basically anywhere. I mean, fish are good, don't get me wrong, because they, they give you a lot of health. Especially if you get, like, moonfish, which are... They turn they turn the day into night, which is kind of weird, but kind of cool. <laughs> See what I caught here. I caught a tattoo. This is also not what I was looking for. <laughs> okay, I am starting to make a fool of myself here, but that's okay. So let's go, um, let's see, am I just kind of a little blind here? I might be just a little bit, uh, <laughs> turned around here. Okay, nope, here I am, okay. There we go. I was, I was a little turned around, but that's okay. Any other chests here that I somehow missed over? That doesn't look like it. That being said, I think here... Now, I know I've said this about six times. I think here is where I finally get what I've been trying to get. So, I'm going to try it one more time. Let's see what I'll get. Let's see. Ha-ha! A silver key! And that is actually the fourth silver key I would have come across, because I actually did miss one. So I will cut away again so I can get back to the guild. So I'll see you when I get back to the guild. <laughs> As you guys just saw there without me actually mentioning anything. I just got another silver key, so I'm actually going to go to the tailor before I go to the guild. So I have some things I need to sell. Namely, these leather gauntlets that I just randomly picked up. So let's see what I can buy now. Now, I actually did at one point accidentally got caught stealing. I didn't mean to, but it happened, so... Oopsie. I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna go buy this bright leather chest piece, though. See, can I buy the, uh... Ooh, I okay, I can't get anything else there. But, I have the next piece of my bright leather armor. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. <clears throat> it's my bright leather chest piece, which is, you know... Probably the most important part. And here I am. See, I'm already starting to look better. I have the little dagger in my arms and my very, very light coloring. Which, if you actually kind of read it now, the different, the different styles, all the different things they say, like for the bright leather, tough leather chest protection. When it says for the dark leather, it's perfect for using small animals to make stuff. So the game points you to what it wants you to do with that, so... Which is, I've always found kind of entertaining. There's not a whole lot you can really do on it. <clears throat> if I go to the blacks with it, is there anything I can self to him? I don't believe so. But I might. Nope, I got nothing to sell to him. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Said so I'm actually going to go to the barber shop and go grab some different hair, because, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the youngster style. So let's buy. I'm actually just going with a normal hooker. You see, it adds a lot to it, your attractiveness and your scariness, which is always nice. So I'm going to take that. It's a little bit of money that I necessarily like to spend, but that's okay. I have the sheriff mustache, which adds to my attractiveness and to my scariness as well. And that's all I got time for. And now look at that look at that lovely hero. 
He looks strange with that sheriff's mustache, but people like it, and it's it allows, as you'll see later, people will marry you a little more. This little girl who's screaming hero, I will talk to her later. Not right now, because I am actually going to go back to the guild real this time. So I will cut away again when I get back there and level up a little bit. I will see you again in a moment. So I'm back here at the guild, and I'm actually going to level up. I'm going to level up my physique again. So I'll be able to do, like I said, more damage with my weapons. Level up my health, because I always like having high health. Level up my toughness, too, because toughness is never a bad thing. To damage. I can buy it one more time. So I think I will. And that's all I can do now, so that's there's that. You can see my health is a lot higher now. And now I'm going to go take this next quest. There's the Trader Escort, which is the next mandatory quest. And I'll show you why that's mandatory shortly. So I'll take that quest. I'll also take the Cobb Killing Contest. That's one I'm not going to do anytime soon. But it's a quest that I will do later. So I'll be taking that quest as well. Now I'll show you where I'm heading to. We're actually going to stay on the guild grounds. You see in the little mini-map in that top corner, that purple demon door, that little... Actually, you don't know what's the demon that little purple thing there, it's called, what's called a demon door. They're all over Albion. And they're... Basically, you do a challenge for them, and they'll, and they'll give you a quest. Or they won't give you a quest, but they'll open up. When they open up, you get good stuff. Kind of the way that one goes. This one here has a nice little riddle that took me forever when I first played it to get it. It wasn't until I actually saw a different person on YouTube play the game that I finally understood what he meant. I'm actually first going to fish here, though, because that's a ripple, and that's an important ripple as well, I believe. Let's see what I bite. What gets me? Oh, here we go. Let's reel in. If I can, because it looks like this might take a little while. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass fish. Which, there are some that are very simple, and some that are just straight up pains in the ass. <laughs> There's no way around it. Sometimes it just takes forever, because the fish will like, run away, then it'll come back, then it'll run away, then it'll come back. Usually the mandatory ones are a lot harder than like kind of the optional ones. The better they are, the harder they are, usually. Which makes sense. See what I caught. I caught a blue mushroom. That's for, an import that's for a quest later on that you will see shortly. But okay, here is the demon door. Hit tab to talk to him. You've just discovered a demon door. These ancient guardians were built to protect all manner of secrets. You can satisfy a demon door if they choose to let you through. Your path is dark. Only a light will reveal it, and you are not bright enough. So now, this is where I had the issue. I could never figure it out, because I, I was 100% light. And I'm like, okay, I am completely as light as I possibly can be. Why aren't you liking me right now? Until I realized later on that it's a very, very simple riddle. Something that you get that you just n you never look at again. Items, others, lamp. I like the lamp. Your path is illuminated. And there you go. I worked out his riddle. <laughs> now let's go in. Again, roll. I'm in the Library Arcanum. So first off, I'm going to go to this chest right here. Because you will see... An Elixir of Life. So I'll go drink, take a drink of that. And you can see I'm already a little stronger than I was. Now I'm going to go... I'm going to get some of these. I got a health tattoo, which is always just creepy as hell. I'm going to go to this one here. I got the Book of Spells, which... I don't think you ever can. I don't think you can ever actually do anything with it. I think you just pick it up. I'm actually curious. I do not remember exactly. Okay. It's probably under items, not trophies. Oh, it's somewhere. I don't remember where it actually it actually is. Oh. Um. No, it's not there. I know. I know it's somewhere. I don't remember where it is though. That's not a style card. Not clothing. Is it? Maybe? Does it maybe not actually show up? Because I don't think you can actually read the books. Because I think is what it is. The guild tip, money bag, lamp, fishing rod, treasure clue 5. Yeah, apparently I can't actually read the book of spells. I think you just pick it up and you can... You can't really do a whole lot with it. <laughs> In all reality, okay. So. That's that one right there. I'm going to go back out there.
And now I'm actually going to go back. Let me see, how many do I have now? I have four silver keys. So there is actually one more place that I... There's actually one place I will go for this. That you have to get... Cause I'll, I'll get another silver key before I, end, before I end this episode. So I will cut away, and when I get back to where I need to, I'll be right back. And here we are at the next place. I actually remembered this one. I just in the Guild Woods right now. And you can see there's on the map, there's somebody here that I will talk to in a moment. But let me go fishing again. This is going to be a little more difficult than some of the other ones are. I also don't have quite the good fishing rod that I will shortly. So let's see. Okay. Hmm. Keeps almost getting caught, then it runs away. Just like, you know, an actual fish will. Look at that handsome devil right there with that devilly handsome mustache. <laughs> I got a silver key! So now I have five silver keys. So, you know, that, that'll unlock the uh, one in the... Uh, Great Wood Lake, and there's this gentleman right here who does not have a name. Hi. Look, could you do me a massive favor? Depends. Name, Cyril. Oh, Cyril. How are you doing, Cyril? I was a little party here the other night, and I met this drop dead gorgeous girl from Oakvale. Oakvale? Oh, what? My Oakvale was destroyed. She was a stunner. At least I think she was. <laughs> I also thought the trees around us were running around on little chocolate legs, if you see what I mean. You see, kids, don't do mushrooms. They'll screw Jane, up your mind. I really want to see her again. Well, probably. I mean, maybe it was just the mushrooms and she's actually just an ugly stick victim. Even if she isn't, what if she doesn't like me? I'm going to take my chances all the same. Please, take this letter to her in Oakvale. I'll see what I can do. A letter from Cyril. I must know how she feels. The suspense is killing me. Oh, one more thing. Don't try to pass the letter off <laughs> as your own. I've spent weeks perfecting its sublime poetry. Whatever you say, buddy. I actually wonder if I can actually take a look at it and see just how bad it is. I think you... Okay, here's what it says. Scrawled in sweaty handwriting is the following poem. My heart beats for you, Myra. You set my soul in blood on fire. Your eyes are like two glowing suns, in your bosom two glorious buns. Totally attractive there, buddy. Please say you do lo so love me, for I can truly say I do love thee. Please let me be your groom, or I shall blame it on the mushroom. Yes, uh, very uh, sublime poetry there, Cyril. It's uh, absolutely wonderful. Absolutely 100% wonderful. Now there is one more silver key that I'm going to get by th before the end of this episode. So, and that one's over in Fisher Creek. So I will cut back when I'm at, I will cut back when I'm at Fisher Creek again. I'm actually going to boast first. First I'm going to boast the trader escort. I'm going to do, I'm going to protect all the traders. And I'm not doing this quest naked because this quest is difficult. <laughs> The hob killing contest. I will humber whisper. I will kill at least ten more hobs than whisper. Again, that's later down the line where I'm a little bit stronger. <laughs> hey, somebody who wants me to escort him. I don't really want to escort him yet. You can escort traders along the way to give you a little bit more money and things, but I don't. I usually do, but I'm not exactly going to right now. But now I actually will cut back when I'm at Fisher Creek to go show you what I need to do. As you can see, I've made it back to Fisher Creek, and there is a silver key. There actually is one more I can get here. I'm just going to have to wait a little while, because 
It's an award for a fishing competition. That being said, what is unfortunate <clears throat> is the fact that because it's just about nighttime, this house is closed off. And I do not believe there's anything here that I can sleep on. So what I might end up having to do is first off, I'm actually going to go to the uh, Great Wood Lake to go unlock that first chest. Then at that point, hopefully what I'm what I'm hoping for at least is that we'll be able to I'm just gonna go run past these guys. I really eh, nah. Free experience is free experience, I suppose. And free money is free money, which is you know is even better. Oh, hey, hey guys! Uh, how's it going? You don't wanna kill me, right? Just because I just killed your buddy doesn't mean you wanna kill me, right? Oh hey, another decapitation. There we go, and they died. Oh, except for one. Apparently, there was one left alive, which, you know, bad on me for leaving one alive. Ooh, an apple pie. Lovely. It's American, or Albion. Albionian? Albanian? I don't know. Don't. Ah, that, I think I tried a little too hard there. <laughs> Slice! Hi, yaw! Ha <laughs> ha! He's dead. What do you got for sale, good old buddy? Sure, I'll buy. What do you got? Oh, you have tattoos. Okay. So, what I can do is I can actually get several different tattoos. Now, tattoos can add to your alignment, can add to your attractiveness, they can add to your scares like this one here. Subtracts the Hal tattoo. Uh, you lose a lot of attractiveness, but you gain a lot of... But a lot of, uh, scariness. The Valiant said too, you gain attractiveness and scariness, and you get a plus 10 alignment modifier. And so I can... See, I have 85, I have 85 gold right now, so I can get maybe a couple good ones. <clears throat> I personally have always liked... I've never actually gotten this one, but... I've... Ah, uh, <laughs> the Freudian one, yes. Yes, you can see, uh... You get the joke, it's a Freudian tattoo, and it's a penis. This video is rated M for mature kids! <laughs> but, you have the Crinian tattoo, which is basically Superman. The Crinians are an old, old order of assassins who live normal lives by day, so, you know... Total joke on Superman, because it looks like Superman's symbol. But, I think I am actually going to get the, uh... I'm gonna go with the core and visor too, because I like the way that one looks. I'm gonna buy that. And I can also buy the Valiant's Tattoo. You know, only the greatest warriors of the Old Kingdom were awarded this pattern. I am one of the greatest warriors of this kingdom, as you shall see! Haha! <laughs> and now I'm down to nine, to, like, nine gold. But, I'll show you what it looks like on me. I hit the wrong button again. No outfit. I will wear no outfit. As you can see, this is what my character looks like now. Now, you can have tattoos on your face, your chest, your arms, your back, and your legs. Right now, all I have is just, obviously, the two tattoos, but I will end up getting more, just because they're actually usually pretty cool looking. Which is always kind of nice to see. So I'm with a bright leather suit, with a, uh... With the legs of the Apprentice Lover robe, and the feet of Apprentice Boots. I'm just getting stronger as I'm going along. So now I'm going to head to... I'm going to go head to Greatwood Lake. That's Orchard Farm. I don't really want to go there because I'm not at a high enough level to do that quest yet. Meaning I am at a high enough level, but I won't succeed on my boast that I made. I will not kill ten more hobs in Whisper. And the quest itself is kind of a pain in the ass. It's not, it's not the worst quest in the game, but it's not a good one. Oh, I guess I can go back to the guild to level up soon, which I probably won't anytime soon. So, as you know, that's what I do. So instead, I'm going to run up here, the Greatwood Lake. I will go ahead and open up this chest. Oh, hey, there's a guy. Die, guy. Take this. Haha. <laughs> you see? Five silver keys. I have six. So I'm going to open this up. 
I got an elixir of life, which is wonderful. Honestly. So an elixir of life, use it. And I think that's where I'm going to leave this video here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And subscribe if you're new to Taylor and I's channel. Next time, we will continue on to do this quest and make it to Darkwood. To get take the traitors to Darkwood. Hope you guys enjoyed this treasure. Yeah, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this treasure as I read that. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>